Just gonna do a little bit of a quick uh, video here on my app, Wild Game Tracker. Uh, it's my primary app for tracking all my animal data, um, wild game data for both hunting and fishing. Uh, just gonna show a few of the features here. Um, that I use for hunting and then I'm gonna get on the water and show you a few of those features as well so just kind of looking here I'm just gonna pull up the app um, right here wild game tracker and it's just gonna kind of zoom into the last kind of zoom level I had now there's two primary ways um, that you can add data when you're in your kind of truck uh, maybe just out spotting pre-season hunting season um, the first way is just by tapping the screen wherever you think you see the animal zoom in to where that would be tap there um, in this case, I just spotted a whitetail. I'm gonna hit grazer, whitetail, and then just, I can add in a comment here, buck, uh, maybe it's a four point, and then I can add that in there. Um, hopefully my spelling's a little bit better. But you can see, I can add a little comment there, add marker, when I click on that, it says whitetail buck, four, it's got the little comment there along with the date that I saw that. Um, other things that I can do here, another way I can do that is I can click on the voice marker. Uh, if I want a little quicker, more driver friendly kind of option, I can click on this kind of little voice marker here and say whitetail. And it's going to add that point right in there. No comment, of course, but just while well, you're quickly driving, that's a really good option there. Um, now, when I want to plan my hunts, I can go into here, turn off GPS tracking toggle that off and then I can just kind of scroll around okay and see where the different animals are okay and then this helped me out last year to kind of get my buck I kind of looked at where all my sightings were uh, decided that we were gonna kind of drop I actually have a pen on my phone I kind of froze that did a little bit of a screenshot kind of drew up our kind of path for the morning and sure enough I was tagged out by about 9 o'clock a.m. Um, just after sunup um, plan worked really well the spotting kind of paid off um, now I'm just going to get on the water here and show you kind of how this can uh, benefit you um, on the lake fishing as well. We're in the boat. Uh, I'm just kind of navigating up to some points that I've been fishing the last little while. Uh, you can see as we kind of move towards those points, uh, Wild Game Tracker automatically uh, adjust your kind of coordinates and your setting as you kind of move up to those points uh, so that you can kind of keep on those markers and move your trolling motor up there uh, or whatever. You can see also one-handed um, quick zoom in well, as well as adding points zoom in and zoom out and so you can see and zoom into whatever kind of level you need to do uh, to get up to those points um, as you kind of move forward and once again just that quick navigation menu if I do catch an animal boom right there fish beat whatever quick drop down any kind of common North American animals are going to be there and I could add just quickly add a walleye here any description if I wanted to add size I could add as well. I'm gonna bring this guy in real quick. Uh, oftentimes when you're catching fish, you know, also you're running around your boat to kind of mark waypoints. Uh, the beauty of wild game track is that I've got this walleye here. I can just go onto my watch real quick, uh, pull up the app, wild game tracker, hit the camera here, walleye says walleye registers on there get there and it's marked on my map up at the front so if you come up to the front of my boat now you can see there's been a few markers there but you can see there's one I just marked just right now with my watch uh, the beauty of that is you can do that in front of your boat you're helping your kids out you're baiting hooks um, it's a real nice feature of that, that you're not going to find on these regular GPS systems you're going to have on your boat also when it comes to trip planning later on find out where you want to go for the day Really nice to just be able to pull up your phone, have all your data right there, and help plan your trip. Whether you're hunting, whether you're fishing, Wild Game Tracker is a good option. After reading through a bunch of uh, small guys, we finally got a keeper here. Uh, just showing you that you don't only add um, just the date and the kind of fish all the time. Uh, sometimes you want to add a little bit more, like a keeper size, or maybe the depth of water you're in, or whatever. Uh, when you want to do that, you just go into the screen here, just tap there hit fish, walleye, and then you can add, in this case, this guy's a 51 centimeter. And so I'm just gonna add in 51, done, and then add that marker. And then you can see, as I click on that, it shows my comment, as well as uh, the date and, and when I caught him. Um, this guy's ready for the tank, that's it. I can just delete these animal markers um, whenever I want. 
Uh, I can go here, delete animals, delete single animal. I can just tap on those and remove those. Uh, some other kind of cool features that I can do um, is if I say I got stuck in my truck out, um, I was out hunting, I'm like, okay, I'm stuck. What am I going to do? Well, I can always just click on send coordinates. Okay, text my location, email location, um, whatever I want to do. Um, I also, you can see if you look in the options there, you can also just send a waypoint. So maybe I have a hot spot that I found when I've been fishing and I just want to send that to my buddy. I can just text the waypoint um, from there. I can just go text waypoint, click on the waypoint I want to text and that's just going to take me to my messaging app there and I can send that uh, Google Maps location out to my buddies, okay? Um, other features um, that we have with this app um, that are pretty cool, uh, just as I discard here, um, is that every kind of animal marker that I put on the screen, um, it's going to back up to the cloud. And so um, it saves it in a database and backs it up to the cloud and so that if I ever lose my phone or get a new phone or whatever that is, right away as soon as I log into my Google account, it downloads all my kind of waypoints from the past and I have an unlimited number of waypoints I can record. Um, so those are some of the features that you're going to see in my app.